morning. Welcome to Dev C TV. We're back. I'm Kayla Mitchell. And I am Millie Dale. Today's school announcements are. <laughs> Students interested in an academic internship for spring 2015 need to apply now. CMS TV is just one of the hosts looking for an intern, but there are also others. See Ms. Graham in the Media Center to apply before the winter break. This week's Biology Students of the Week are Janiah White, Anthony Gaffney, H. Jackson, Taylor Nolan, and Isaiah Johnson. Congrats, guys. Keep up the great work. There will be a representative from CPCC in the Media Center during all lunches on Thursday, December 4th. See Ms. Graham in the Media Center for more information. West Charlotte High School cheerleaders are hosting the first annual formal holiday ball for freshmen and sophomore students. Date, Saturday, January 10th, 2015. Cost $15 for a single or $25 for a couple. No outside guests are allowed. Location, West Charlotte High School Cafeteria. See Ms. Joseph in the Omni every morning for questions and tickets. Seniors, make sure you make your payment for the senior shirts and sweatshirts by Friday. Turn in money to Ms. Coleman in A23. That's all for our school announcements, Kayla. What's going on in our world news? Today in world news. <laughs> College football death? Did concussions do it to him? They weren't directly the cause of death. Costa George appears to have shot himself. He didn't show for college practice last week at Ohio State and was reported missing. Then over the weekend, he turned up dead with a handgun next to his body. Kara George liked rough sports. He was an avid wrestler. Concussion symptoms plagued his brain. His mother said she got the last text from him and it read, I'm sorry if I was an embarrassment, but these concussions had my head all messed up. That's interesting why football players want to participate in a sport that can possibly lead to their death. The rush is off. Black Friday? Who cares anymore? Earlier this week was Cyber Monday. 1.8 million fewer shoppers than last year purchased goods from hands of strangers in stores on Friday. Many opting for cyber shopping instead. Overall sales went up this weekend by 27%, retailers said. Guns, in particular, boomed on Friday, setting a record for federal background checks, 175,000 in one day. That's about three every second. Well, that wraps up our Connect the World report. It's time to reveal our Women Crush Wednesday. Kayla Byers is our Women Crush Wednesday. She is a senior IB student and also a dance girl. Jayla plans to attend Appalachian State, majoring in nutrition. Jayla is a proud supporter of WCTV as well. This week in our fashion segment, check out some styles from the Soul Train Awards. Today's inspirational quote is, why change? Everyone has their own style. When you have found it, you should stick to it. Audrey Hepburn. As you know, our Mighty Lions took on the Hardy Rams. Great job, Lions. Keep up the good work. Speaking of our basketball players, let's meet our ball players of the year. Kalia Davis, 12th grade, power forward. Simeon Carter, senior, center. Tanithia Stewart, 12th grade, shooting guard. The senior, point guard. My name is Sierra, I'm a senior and I'm a center. Hey, my name is Iman, I'm a senior and I'm a shooting forward. I'm Isaiah Blackman, I'm in 12th grade, I'm a shooting guard for West Charlotte High School. League Massey, senior point guard. My name is Xavier Sanders, 12th grader, uh, shooting guard. Mike Boone, 12th grade. I play golf. Hello, my name is Jessica Gash. So our first question is, who do you think your biggest competition this year? 
Our biggest competition this year, we have a tough conference in the Mecca 8 um, conference. Every game is a bomb burner. We have our rivalry games with Harding, POB, West Mech. So every game we play at Dub C is a big game. And those games are coming up this week, correct? Correct. We play Harding on Tuesday, and Friday we play POB at home. All righty. <laughs> Okay, and how do you motivate your players to perform their best on the court? Uh, we say every day you got to play with lion pride, and um, you play with that lion pride, it comes out. It's um, a product of just our school in general, from the history, and just playing off the history. All right, any team motto? Uh, lion pride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and how have you improved from last year? Uh, we improved a great deal. We lost. Uh, tremendous player for our senior class, but it, they've been working hard since the beginning of the tryouts, and um, we've been steadily improving uh, each and every day, working hard. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and that's it. That's it. Tell me, what game are you most excited for this year? See, I'm most excited for the North Mac game coming up. Yeah, I'm ready. We ready. Y'all gonna beat them? Of course, man. They ain't got no squad. We ready. All right. What's your record so far? Two and Three and zero, yeah. Three and zero. Three and zero. What life lessons have you learned by playing basketball? Well, it helps me keep my grades on top, and it also helps me stay away from the negative environments. Okay, how long have you been playing basketball? Since I was in fifth grade. All right, so we got some skills on our hands. So who inspires you to play basketball? Um, my dad inspires me to play because he's very strict, and he just pushes me every day to play. All right, how long have you been playing basketball? Since I was in fourth grade. Really? All right, we have another veteran. We're here with Coach Sherry. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Thank you for taking your time out to interview with us. Always for CMS TV. Okay. So tell me, who is y'all's big competition this year? Uh, our biggest competition is probably going to be Huff. Huff, all righty. And tell me, how do you motivate your players to do their best on the court? Uh, you play all of them. If you don't play hard, they come out of the game. All right. Any team motto y'all have this year? All gas, no brakes. I think they said something like that. All righty. And how have you improved from last year? Uh, we're deeper, we're more experienced, and we're a year older. Here, Rivers, one of our boys, varsity basketball players. So what is a lesson that you have learned while playing basketball? How to make better decisions in life. And how long have you been playing basketball? For well, about seven years. Really? You played for your middle school? Yeah, I went to John Taylor Williams. All right, and what game are you most excited for this season? Uh, the state championship game. That's the only game. And y'all going to see us there. We're with Sim Dog. So what person do you look up to the most? Uh, Kevin Durant. And why do you look up to him? Because my game follows his. Your game follows his. All right, so you're going to be as successful or better than him? Better. All righty. Kevin Durant, you have a challenge. And we are here with Zay Zay, here from our varsity basketball players. Okay, and my question for you today is, how has your skills increased through your experience? Um, well, I've gotten a lot faster and stronger than I was in ninth grade, so that helps. And how long have you been playing basketball? Ever since I was little, like three years old. Are you planning to play during college? Oh yeah, most definitely. Alrighty, that's all with Zay Zay. And we are here with Big Leak. <laughs> how are you today? I'm good. Now, how do you prepare for games? Uh, usually on game day, I like to uh, do homework. And after I do homework, I like take a little hour nap, come back, listen to music all day until the game starts. Any fruits and vegetables you eat specifically? Uh, yeah, I eat a lot of green vegetables, you know, broccoli, uh, green beans. Um, I eat fruits like oranges and apples and bananas. Does the chef here make it for you? Yeah, the best in the city. And we're here with Zay. So tell me what basketball player you look up to the most and why. I look up to Dwayne Wade and uh, just because I like the way he gets to the basketball. And what college are you planning to go to? Anthony. Anthony, you're going to play basketball for them? I'm not sure. Really? You're going to stop playing basketball? Um, I might. It all depends. All the way to the end of the season. And we're here with Mike Boone. So what game are you most excited for this season? Uh, I say P.O.B. because they beat us last time. 
Oh, they did. No North Mac? They overrated. We're not worried about North Mac because we beat them already. But I thought y'all lost to them last year. We did, but it was during conference play, so it don't matter. And who do you think is your toughest game? Nobody, really. So you're going to win all your games, straight season? We're going to win all our games during conference, playoffs, out of town, it don't matter. Sounds great. We're looking forward to all the wins. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your hump day. I'm Kayla Mitchell. And I'm Millie Daniels.